starts now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us here at 11, streaming live at KMIR.com. I'm Gino Lamont. Topping the news tonight at 11, three people are dead and a two-year-old child rescued after a double murder-suicide in Palm Springs. Neighbors shocked to learn that the child was alone in the home as those three adults lay dead nearby. Angel Monroe has that story. Oh, my God. No, I had no idea. Next-door neighbor Chris Martin knew someone had died, but didn't know the details. Police believe an adult man shot two women before turning the gun on himself. Officers tell us the victims are related. They also made another shocking discovery inside. Officers also found a two-year-old asleep inside the residence. The child was unharmed and is expected to be released to family members by the Riverside County Department of Social Services. What isn't clear is when the shooting happened. Chris tells me she heard what sounded like gunshots possibly several days ago in the early morning hours. I wasn't sure what the noise was. It was just kind of alarming because it's usually really quiet here. Uh, very loud. My initial reaction is you think, oh my gosh, it sounds like gunshots or something. But then I thought it sounded like somebody might have been breaking on the door or something. So I got up, I looked around, I didn't see anything. And police aren't sure either exactly when the shooting took place. Firearms were located at the scene. The investigation is still in its early stages, and at some point uh, we should be able to determine uh, when the shooting occurred, but we do not have that information at this time. So we don't know how long that child was left alone inside the apartment with the bodies. Chris says she didn't know her neighbors, but is horrified by what happened next door. Pretty scary, pretty alarming, and pretty sad. I moved here recently, and quite frankly, getting a little concerned about the, the crime in the area. You know? I'm Angela Monroe, KMIR News. A woman was killed today while riding her recumbent bike in Palm Desert. It happened about 11.30 this morning. The woman's been identified as 73-year-old Rose Peters of Durango, Colorado. Now, she was riding near Highway 74 in Mesa View Drive when she was hit by a woman driving a Lexus. Paramedics rushed her to the hospital, but she later died from those injuries. A recumbent bike is not ridden like a traditional bicycle. The rider is in a laid-back, reclining position and is closer to the ground. The driver of the car did stop at the scene and is cooperating with police. Authorities don't believe that drugs or alcohol uh, were an influence at the time of the crash, but that investigation is still ongoing. And many of us are trying to be a little healthier in this new year, and part of that includes, of course, drinking more water. But is the stuff that comes out of our tap safe to drink? Or should you use a water filter or bottled water? A viewer wrote to KMIR News to find out, and Kitty Alvarado is on the story. Is my tap water safe? When people find out Steve Bigley is a water quality expert, they immediately want to know if their tap water is safe. California has the most stringent standards that exist for drinking water. He says there are over 7,000 public water systems in California, and they all must meet the strict state regulations. That's not the case for bottled water. We perform over 10,000 tests each year to ensure the water we're delivering to our customers meets those very stringent standards. Bottle water folks don't have the same requirements, and often they are meeting similar standards, but their monitoring requirements are just a little different because they are regulated by the federal government. Why does tap water sometimes look cloudy, and is it safe to drink when it is? When you first draw the water, there is dissolved air in the water because it's under pressure. And when you open the tap, it's relieving that pressure, just like opening a soda can. The air goes into solution, and you see it as a milky, cloudy appearance. If you watch that glass, it will clear down at the bottom first, and then up to the top after several minutes. He says the solution to clear water is simple. It won't affect the taste. What I suggest to the customers is just fill up a container from the tap, and put it in the refrigerator. By the time it's cold, it'll be crystal clear. He says the major difference between bottled water and tap water is the cost. For about the cost of one bottled water, you can purchase over 700 gallons of water from your tap. He says they don't recommend you filter your tap water if you're on a public water system. Our public water consumers can feel confident that they are drinking the safest tap water. Kitty Alvarado, KMIR News. 
KMIR is committed to making Coachella Valley a better place to live. If you have a problem or a story you'd like us to look into, email or call the newsroom. Remember, you ask, we investigate. All right, time now for a check on our weather. Meteorologist Jeff Fox standing by with your weather headlines. Jeff. Yeah, Gino, uh, late last week, if you were to go out this time of night, you would really be freezing. Tonight, not so bad. Uh, we're in the 50s right now. I'll show you in a minute. Moonlit, starlit skies. The full moon last night, but still about 99% full tonight. Not as chilly as it's been. And when we look at the extended forecast, the first half of this week is going to be the better half of this week. There are some clouds coming late in the week. Uh, overnight low temperatures, mainly in the 40s to around the 50 degree mark throughout the region. Of course, some of the higher elevations will be seeing some of the cooler temperatures, but basically a lovely night for sleeping and what looks like a pretty darn good week ahead. Back with the rest of the extended forecast in just a few. Gino? All right, thank you, sir. Incoming Riverside County District Attorney Mike Hestrin is now officially on the job. Hester was sworn in a public ceremony this afternoon at the historic courthouse in Riverside. Hester defeated outgoing District Attorney Paul Zellerbach back in June. Members of his immediate and extended family were there, along with most personnel from the DA's office in Riverside. They all attended today's ceremony. One of the things that I'm going to do that I think is different, is I think is innovative, is that we want to form or we're going to form a partnership, public-private partnership, uh, between um, the the private sector and the district attorney's office. And what, it, what we're doing uh, specifically is, is starting a crime prevention foundation in order to fund after school programs and crime reduction programs. So this is a change. This is something that I think is a long time coming. The district attorney's office has to um, actively take crime prevention as part of its core mission. And I, I believe in crime prevention. I think, it's, I think it's part of managing the overall managing of crime and we need to take the lead in that. Grover Trask, who served as district attorney from 1982 to 2006, delivered today's keynote address. The California Highway Patrol in Indio says their New Year's crackdown on drunk drivers made a massive impact. During their maximum enforcement period, they arrested 28 drivers for driving under the influence. They also investigated 12 collisions. From New Year's Eve Wednesday to midnight Sunday night, CHP officers were out in full force in an attempt to keep those roads safe. KMIR News at 11 just getting started. The first marriage ceremony between a same-sex couple took place today in Florida. We'll tell you about that. And a lot of people would like to escape their weather and get our weather. I'll tell you who wants to escape and what we're getting. So don't go to sleep yet. There's more KMIR News at 11 to come. Making the Coachella Valley a better place to live. You're watching KMIR News. Heart disease is the number one killer of women. Killing more women than all forms of cancer combined. It's called the silent killer, but we won't be silent anymore. Join the American Heart Association and KMIR and KPSC for the 8th Annual Go Red for Women Luncheon, Friday, February 13th at the Renaissance Esmeralda Resort and Spa in Indian Wells. There you'll receive vital information to keep you healthy. Make it your mission to help fight heart disease in women. Go Red! In today's world, home break-ins, robberies, and fire are all too common. You and your loved ones deserve to feel safe. Hello, my name is Chris Medine. With our 24 hours monitoring, 24 hours alarm response, and 24 hours home automation, we have all of your security needs covered. And now, for a limited time offer, receive a $695 security system package absolutely free. Your monitoring cost is only $29.95 a month. Call today, 322-1562. A mind blowing ride in what they thought was our most advanced Ultima race car. Then we just blew their minds. This is crazy that this is like the car. I was just it. The 2015 Nissan Ultima with blind spot warning and zero gravity seats. Choose the 38 MPG Highway Ultima starting at just 22,300. Ultima from the most fuel efficient lineup in America. Shop choosenissan.com. Nissan, innovation that excites. Enter the party. A toast. A taste. Some flair. And the game. Milongo. Good times. 
Hello, I'm Patrick Harkins, and this is Consign Design, and we'd like to welcome you to our showroom. If you're looking for furniture, art, or accessories, you need to come down and check us out because things are moving fast. Wow! This portion of the news is brought to you by General Heating and Air Conditioning. Making the Coachella Valley a better place to live. KMIR News continues. Florida's first same-sex marriage took place today in Miami. A Miami-Dade County judge performed the ceremony this afternoon. Carla Arguello and Kathy Pareto became Florida's first legally married same-sex couple. Earlier in the day, that same judge lifted a stay which allowed same-sex marriages to proceed in the county. A male couple were married shortly thereafter. Statewide, the ban against same-sex marriages expires at 12.01 tomorrow morning. The owner of the St. Louis Rams, Stan Kroenke, plans to build an NFL stadium in Los Angeles County. Kroenke has partnered with Stockbridge Capital Group, who owns a 238-acre Hollywood Park site in Inglewood. They say they have plans to build an 80,000-seat NFL stadium and a massive retail and residential space in the L.A. suburb. The plan will add pressure on St. Louis to either strike a deal for a new stadium, which, by the way, would be the Rams' third stadium in St. Louis, or watch the Rams return home to Los Angeles, where they played from 1946 to 1994. Now, the team can decide to opt out of their lease early at the Edward Jones Dome later this month. The Rams could also go year to year on a lease if they want to continue negotiating the deal. The earliest, the absolute earliest any NFL team could move to the stadium in Los Angeles would be for the 2016 season. An infant found dead inside a Southern California dumpster is that of three-week-old kidnapped girl. Three-week-old Eliza Delacruz was taken from her parents' home in Long Beach Saturday afternoon. On Sunday, her body was discovered inside a dumpster behind a Long Beach shopping mall. Police say the suspect in the case shot and wounded the girl's parents and paternal uncle before taking the child. A local resident was in a dumpster looking for recyclables and happened to find a bag that did contain the body of a deceased baby. Uh, that individual then reported that to a business who then called 911 for assistance. Police have not released a motive in the case, but they do not suspect it to be a random act of violence. Two New York City police officers were shot tonight in the Bronx. That shooting happened in the Tremont section of the Bronx. The officers were taken to St. Barnabas Hospital and ex are expected to survive. According to the fire department in New York City, one officer was shot in the back but was believed to be wearing a bulletproof vest. The other officer was shot in the arm. The suspect is still at large, but there is a $10,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest. Coming up, Jeff Fox will have a look at our full forecast. But first, here's tonight's Pacific Premier Bank stock market close. in Palm Desert, where the relaxing comfort and ambiance match the award-winning food. Come in for a delicious breakfast, traditional or choose from our vast specialty selections. For a delicious lunch, try our fabulous soups, salads, or mile-high sandwiches. Manhattan in the Desert's famous complete dinners include Super Salad. Make sure you try our new expansive bar and happy hour with amazing unique appetizers. The new Manhattan in the Desert in Palm Desert, or the original in Palm Springs. Thank you, Cable. For the slower internet upload speeds. For fewer video on demand titles. For taking longer to upload our movies. For making me wait longer to share my photo albums. Thank you, Cable. 
Thank you, Cable, because if we never had you... We wouldn't know the incredible difference Verizon Fios makes. The numbers don't lie. In customer satisfaction studies, Fios is rated number one in Internet speed and reliability eight years running. Number one in Internet customer satisfaction and HD picture quality. So join the millions who enjoy the difference Fios makes. It's your last chance to get a Fios triple play online at an amazing $79.99 a month, guaranteed for two full years. Speed Match uploads as fast as downloads, and all our premium channels included for two years, plus an incredible $400 bonus with a two-year agreement. Hurry, it's your last chance. Offer ends January 17th. Go to verizon.com slash the facts today. hotwatercasino.com for our starstruck lineup. Welcome back. Time now for a check on our weather. Meteorologist Jeff Fox standing by with your full weather forecast. Jeff. Yeah, and the average temperature across the valley tonight, about 55 degrees. So we're in really good shape with clear skies right now. High pressure off to the east of us that's going to act as a really nice block. You see all these clouds out in the Pacific and up in the northwest. They're not coming here. They're going to have to climb over this high pressure system and then move into the center of the country. So for us, that means another sunny day tomorrow and some increasing clouds as we move toward late in the week. I did want to show you the Midwest tonight. Uh, the, I've, I looked at the temperature in Duluth, Minnesota a couple of minutes ago. It's one above, but that's not why I'm mentioning Duluth. One above is the warmest official temperature in the state of Minnesota tonight. Uh, everybody else as far as 15 below. This snow is going to put about six inches down in the Cincinnati area. Already snow tonight in Milwaukee, actually snowing lightly in Milwaukee, in Chicago and Cleveland. So this is a big deal and it will go to the mid-Atlantic states like uh, into Philadelphia and Atlantic City with a little bit of snow tomorrow. For us, overnight lows will be mainly in the 40s to around 50, 50 in Palm Desert, Indian Wells and in La Quinta, also in Cathedral City, Rancho Mirage, Thousand Palms, Desert Hot Springs, 51 in Palm Springs. At the tram stop, bring a coat, 39 for the overnight low, 50 in Whitewater and Cabazon, 53 in Banning, high desert temps, mainly in the 40s overnight tonight. And our average overnight low temperature will be around 51 with clear skies and a light wind. All right, here's a look at our extended forecast. Tomorrow is going to be a dynamite day. I don't think you could buy a nicer day than what we're going to see tomorrow. Sunny skies, temps in the mid and upper 70s, then a few clouds on Wednesday, more clouds on Thursday, moving to the end of the extended forecast. Clouds thicken up. Do you know there's actually a tiny chance of showers on Saturday before we turn a little bit cooler and bring back the sun next week. Back to you. All right, well, we got the Wounded Warriors golf on Saturday, so I'm assuming there'll be no rain on that. Thank you, Jeff. Still to come, tackling the problems of gum disease without surgery. That story next in Your Health Matters. La, la, la. Love your morning with an egg white delight McMuffin and hot McCafe coffee. Same great steaks, same great service. LG's Prime Steakhouse, it's the art of a steak. Welcome to Park 111 Salon and Spa. Relax. Rejuvenate. Transform. Professional staff. Refine. Beauty. Park 111 Salon and Spa on Highway 111 in Palm Desert, where your true beauty shines.
And that's why I don't like gyms. Well, Jessica, we're not a gym. We're Planet Fitness. No gym intimidation, no lungs, unlimited fitness training. Just $10 a month. We're not a gym. We're Planet Fitness. Now open in Coachella, located opposite Cardenas Market. Hurry, offer ends January 9th. Basel, Switzerland, where once a year the world's most important leaders in the jewelry industry gather. Leeds & Sons buyers buy the best from the best. Our experts acquire the finest in each category directly from the designers and pass the savings on to our clients. For almost seven decades, we continue to bring affordable luxury to the desert. The jewelry and watch experts, Leeds & Son, voted number one fine jewelry store in the Coachella Valley. It's everything you love and more of it. The new triple cheeseburger, just two forty nine. Gum disease is usually the result of an infection in the mouth, and treatment varies depending on how serious it is. In some cases, surgery is required. In others, a much easier procedure is available using an endoscope, giving doctors an up-close and inside view of the affected areas. It's a very, very thin probe that can fit in between the gum tissue and the root surface. Less than a millimeter wide, the specialized periodontal endoscope that Dr. Ellie Love is referring to is a tool that allows her to treat a patient's gum disease non-invasively. If we can utilize this in certain procedures, it definitely can eliminate the need of surgical procedure. And we can actually visualize and see whether we removed all the tartar. Without it, she would only be able to identify any trouble spots by feeling Instead of feeling for what we missed, we just put the scope inside and we check on the computer monitor whether we have left anything behind or if the root surface looks clean or we missed something. Gum disease is very common and can affect anyone at any age. And you can help prevent it by practicing good oral hygiene. One of the main causes is tartar buildup. These dark spots are tartar, which are calcified plaque. That's what causes gum disease, and that's where the scope comes in. The scope goes in, visualizes, and we can see the pattern and the way the tartar is built up. And using an ultrasonic instrument, the affected area is cleaned out. This instrument that goes up and down is actually my cleaning instrument. And what is cleaning is a root surface. If left untreated, the condition can progress, causing bone loss. That's why this procedure is so effective. Right here? Yes, that's right. That's a tartar. So we are able to get underneath this and clean that. The white area right here, you see, this is the root surface. And we just clean the tartar off of it so we can actually see it. Once the area is cleaned up, the tissue heals and reattaches itself. This is a beautiful treatment to go ahead and remove the tartar, which is cause of the disease, and allow the body to heal naturally. Gum disease doesn't always come with pain. Remember, you could have it and not know it. And that's why regular dental visits are so important. Exams and cleanings, very helpful. Watch for bleeding when brushing. It could be an indication of gum issues. As for the endoscopic procedure that you just saw, not everyone is a candidate. But if you are, it proves to be very effective. And if you have a story you'd like me to do, please email me at health at kmir.com because your health matters. I'm Janet Zapala, KMIR News. The 26th Annual Palm Springs International Film Festival is in full swing, and our Manny the Movie Guy goes behind the scenes. I'm Manny the Movie Guy, and what are you looking at? <laughs> I'm Janet Zapala, and I'm looking at all the stars that are coming down the red carpet tonight. It's hard not to get distracted by the huge star power walking on the red carpet at last weekend's awards gala. It's such an honor. Oscar hopefuls Reese Witherspoon, Benedict Cumberbatch, and Michael Keaton were just among the few to light up the desert sky. Witherspoon was thankful that she was able to bring Cheryl Strait's novel, Wild, to the big screen. Um, it's been a great year with Gone Girl and Wild, and it's been really exciting. Witherspoon received the chairman award presented by Laura Dern, who was all praises for her co-star in Wild. I marvel at her unbelievably pure 
and fearless and perfect performance. It was a night of mutual admiration society. There's Michael Keaton, Alejandro, who credited his Birdman director Alejandro Gonzalez Iñárritu for his Oscar frontrunner performance in the movie. I think there's a mistake here. I should have been giving this award to Michael. This is his film, I have to say. This is the second time Iñárritu has been awarded with the director of the year at the fest. His previous win was from 2006's Babel. His dignity, his grace. Brad Pitt was also full of kind words to David Oyelowo receiving the Breakthrough Award for Selma. Pitt, one of the producers of the film, gave the most entertaining speech of the evening when he asked the audience to sing Oyelowo's last name. Oh yellow, 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 oh, oh yellow. Oh. Other stars singing praises to one another were Steve Carell presenting the Desert Palm Achievement Award actress to Julianne Moore, who is so good in the movie, still Alice. Thank you so much. In turn, Moore presented the Desert Palm Achievement Award actor to the Fury of Everything's Eddie Redmayne. A reddish tinge in my hair. Gone Girl's Rosamund Pike received the Breakthrough Actress Award from her co-stars. Hello. <laughs> Director Jason Reitman gave the Spotlight Award to J.K. Simmons for Whiplash. My pick for the Best Supporting Actor this year. Reitman is directing me to cry at this point. The Imitation Game Director Morton Tilden gave the Ensemble Award to his cast, led by Benedict Cumberbatch. And I'd like to start by thanking him. And Robert Downey Jr. presented the Icon Award to his The Judge co-star, the truly iconic Robert Duvall. Why are you an icon? But perhaps the one who captured the spirit of the award season was Shirley MacLaine, presenting the Visionary Award to director Richard Linklater for Boyhood. The Oscar-winning actress explained the unbreakable bond between an actor and a director. This man is really smart. No wonder they call him a visionary. You begin to see the brilliance in that. And we already know the brilliance of our very own Palm Springs International Film Festival. The first stop for Hollywood this awards season. The Showbiz Report is brought to you each and every night by the show at Awa Caliente Resort Spa and Rancho Mirage. Coming up at the show on the 17th, you can see Golden Boys, Frankie Avalon, Fabian, and Bobby Rydell. Rock band Styx will be here on the 24th. And on February 7th, check out Huey Lewis and the News. And stay tuned to KMIR News for your chances to win tickets to the show. Well, there's so much to see and hear from the big gal at Palm Springs Convention Center. And nobody is seen inside the program itself, at least unless you had a ticket. But we've got you covered. Set your DVRs or sit on down. Watch this Thursday night at 730 right here on KMIR. Because we're not only going to show you the red carpet. We're going to show you much of the gala itself and the award ceremony inside the doors when everybody else turned the cameras off. Still ahead tonight, drivers in Israel got, we'll say, an unusual sighting on their Sunday morning drive. We'll tell you about that when we come back. El Pollo Loco's under 500 calories entrees are loaded with flavor. Like our chicken and shrimp tostada. But they're also low calorie, like our chicken and kale salad. They're more and less at, at the, the same, same time. time. Try our new under 500 calories menu, El Pollo Loco. Crazy you can taste. My whole life, I didn't have health insurance because it was too expensive. As a professional dancer, I tend to beat up my body a lot, and having health insurance is a priority for me. It's a relief to be able to keep the same doctor. I was born with a back condition that required surgery. I'm paying a fraction of what I used to pay. Even with my back issues, I'm able to afford health insurance. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in for the first time ever. You too can enjoy quality health coverage. To enroll or find free in-person help, go to CoverageCA.com. Burn John, and welcome to Mario's, where we serve the largest glass of wine in the valley for only five bucks. Come join us at Mario's for lunch, seven days a week, only five ninety-five. Our light heavyweight contender dinners, only nine ninety-five. Choose from veal, steak, seafood, chicken, and pasta. The largest glass of wine in the valley for only five bucks. A dinner and a glass of wine under fifteen bucks. Ed Shaw. Carpet Empire Plus. What's the plus in our name? Well, the plus is tile. We have a humongous selection of tiles for your floors and for your walls. The plus is wood. We have countless choices of wood flooring for your home. The plus is laminate. We have racks and racks of samples of simulated wood for your home floors. Come see what the plus is all about at Carpet Empire Plus. And remember, if you are not buying your flooring from Carpet Empire Plus, you are paying too much.
Introducing the new Subway Simple Six Menu. Six of our best six-inch subs like the Italian BMT and tender turkey breast with a 21-ounce drink and a bag of chips for just $6 every day. It's value made simple. Subway. El Pollo Loco's three-course family meal comes with your choice of a super salad, like our corn chowder or Mexican cob, and new chocolate churros, which sort of makes you the jefe. But you still can't man the grill. New eight-piece three-course family meal. El Pollo Loco, crazy you can taste. Tonight, Fallon's back, and all new with Bradley Cooper on air guitar. Plus Harry Connick Jr. and books from the Do Not Read list. Blowing my own trumpet. Then Seth has Anna Kendrick. New Tonight Show, then Late Night. NBC Tonight. Well, before you head off to bed tonight, here's a little something to sleep on and something you don't see every day, at least not on a Sunday drive in a coastal Israeli oh, oh. city. Wow. Yeah, that's an emu. I don't know if they're indigenous, but I suspect not. The animal had escaped apparently from a private farm. The emu was eventually caught and returned to its owner safe and sound in spite of its running through Sunday morning traffic. All right, before we head out, let's get one last check of weather with Jeff. All right, we're in the 50s right now. We're going to go down to... Upper 40s, low 50s overnight, so not too terrible. And tomorrow, nearly perfect. Mid and upper 70s throughout the valley. A few clouds on Wednesday, and then we'll see those clouds thicken up as we move toward next weekend. But temperatures this week, mainly in the 70s. And that, sir, is not too bad. Yeah, very nice. Nearly 80 degrees tomorrow and Wednesday. That'll be lovely. Maybe a chance for rain on Saturday, but you think pretty slight. Pretty slight. You said the Wounded Warriors? Wounded Warriors Project, Fred Williams in this tournament Saturday. I will, of course, be there, rain or shine. Yeah, but, and even if there was rain, it would be just minimal. And as you know, it never rains on the golf course. Not on my golf course. Turns out I'm a cold-weather player. All right, that's going to do it for us. The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fowles next. See you back here tomorrow.